a lot of frontline. They have a hell of a lot of damage. This is a classic if they can get vision control, and especially if they're able to knock down a few extra tur turrets in the early game. It hasn't been... So even though... Oh, oh. No, Ignite going down in the mid lane. Oh, Chains my, are going to land. It. Faker's underneath the turret. It's Showmaker falls, and Faker gets the 1v1 outplay. Guard with the Fairy Charm. Showmaker is going to be in a world of pressure. And we look at what this is a byproduct of. It's the crash that happened onto the, the Tier 1 turret, causing a slow push back into Faker. Minion wave on Faker's side of the lane. Canyon up at the goalie, but without a jungler to aid him, keeps trying to walk too far up. And then Faker just says, no, you're a little bit out of bounds. Oh, no. Seismic shove. Caught backing is Khan. The flash is there, but one more auto, and Canyon is going to get it as the Vault was delivering the Quinn to him. Darmon do even it out. Uh, Ignite Flash are available here for Faker oh. in a couple of seconds as Weaver's Wall comes towards the top side as Khan. Gonna get electrocuted, oh. pops back with the seismic shove positioning. So... Um, yep. He had, one, he had one job after Faker got so far ahead in the early stages. Oh, and he might Bella. just die again. Oh, he's gonna find Canyon. Yep, Sky Strike oh. gonna come down there as he's looking to return the favor, but a lot of damage coming out. No seismic shove, no kill. As oh. Nogri is gonna tank up this turret. Ooh. Doesn't oh. Really... oh no! What? Wow, the minion wave wasn't in range, and somehow Khan is gifted a kill for Faker in the mid lane. A thousand gold ahead is the LeBlanc. And uh, when SKT were actually a little bit behind in gold, it's really interesting how the gold state has gone. It's, here's a team fight. The quickness is huge into the back line. It's Faker in trouble, has to flash to get out, and Nuclear follows with the killer instinct. Two kills in for Darmon already. Have they done it again? This is what they did against SKT. And that's what happens when you're walking around your jungle. Both of these teams can do this. And that's why it's so interesting. It's all, almost like the win conditions are the same, and SKT found the position this time around. Showmaker flashes to get himself out, though wishes he still had that ultimate, but he doesn't. Canyon oh, stole it. He barren. used it against the wall as Canyon now in trouble. He's going to get taken down. Clid gets another one. Nogri dives into the back line as Faker's just darting around, staying out of trouble, but keeping his range. Basically, carry. it's only Talia. Yeah. Weaver's wall coming out. Yep, that is uh, Clid's one. His walls in uh, the Sandbox series were amazing. What? As Nogger is looking to try and force doing? this. He's taking way too much damage. And Teddy's going to be able to pick up that kill. Barrel into the back line, but he has to exit immediately. Effort's going to go down very low. As Showmaker uh... did find a decent flank. They do get one of the kills. As now Khan's trying to make his way forward. Another wall. Or is this it's... still SKT's Re game to lose? Renekt oh, okay. man. Khan in trouble. A lot of stuns and a lot of death. Killer Instinct there from Nuclear is going to be a comfortable one. He's setting themselves up for another siege. Okay, that's a hell of a lot of damage on the Showmaker. Can't really do too much, but it's a good double stun coming out. The Kiana oh, getting the work dead. done, and Faker is going to get picked. Really nice layering of CC from Dom one side. And that's true. That Freak, is, he'd have the numbers for you. He's that guy. He's, he's the numbers that guy. guy. Yeah. That's why I watch both of the patch rundowns, because See? you both give me something different. Oh, Scar stopped, didn't he? Well, he does the, the he TFT, does TFT now. now. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's just me and Freak remaining. Yeah. As, uh, Faker taking a bit of damage here as uh, he dives to try and... Get a bit of softening onto the Darmon squad. And now Khan's looking for the back door. They still have that inhibitor down, and Darmon won't actually be okay. able to stop this. Look at how incredibly fast he is. The Weaver's Wall comes in as Nuclear just is on the wrong the side, has to flash. They're just going to jump onto the Baron and hope for the best because the Quinn is looking to win the game. Gigantic ultimate stolen by Clint. He goes golden as well, and this is looking to be all over for Darmon Gaming. They're winning a 4v5 team fight, our SKT. Walsh Khan wins the game! And, and that, that was is it. how we're going to do it. SKT, they win it all in a moment's notice. This is the troubles. Getting into the game number two. Have his jungler in his back pocket. Faker clearing out vision on the top side also. Oh, this is the timing though. They crashed a cannon wave, but the problem is that Faker, because of that control ward, he's a little bit too slow to move. As looks like he's found the Sejuani. I don't know if he can see those. I don't think so either, but that's the ult into the wall, and that's first blood all too easily put together by SKT. To SKT, regardless of where Don Juan are. As Faker thinks that he may have found someone yet again. Nogri with the acceleration gate looking to try and get out, but the abduct, the abscond. Clid throws out the prison. He's going to land it there onto Nogri, but Faker taking so much damage as he dashes back forward. Doesn't quite get the damage out of the ultimate as the Kiana does pick up the chase with the last tick of the ignite, but it's a one for one. <laughs>
Faker and Clid back into the mid lane. And uh, OK, Showmaker, he's going to walk up a little bit too far there as Clid is going to root him down. Actually, no, going to be rooted there as Canyon turns up, but doesn't really have too much of an opportunity. The Realm Warp to come in, and that's going to get the flash out from Canyon. The flash forward from Faker is going to secure it. Wait. EQ to death. Very, very swiftly. And SKT grouping around Shelly for the moment. Nogri, acceleration gets oh. out. My god, how did that even happen? As Khan is going to pick up the kill, but all of SKT. Thing to scoff at is we're going to have a look oh. at this once again. <laughs> uh, oh god, that's what happened. I thought it was SKT. He was playing, playing well, Minesweeper. Instead, yeah. yeah. That's what happened. Yeah, he, he, he went over did the on either side, but Clid not going to have that R button available for quite some time. Faker does have his oh. back again, though, as Abyssal Voyage gets effort a very short distance. Realm War going to mean that the Rise can get in here as well. Supreme Display of Talent is going to lock down okay. one. Teddy secures it with a hail of arrows. And now Khan on the front line looking for more. Barrel puts up the door, keeps himself alive, but he couldn't save his top laner as SKT now with. Uh, someone just repositioning around this Baron Pit. They can take the irremovable vision available oh. from this one, but someone are just going to do it. They're rolling the dice once again. They've done this so many times this series. Half the health bar of the Baron goes oh. missing as SKT has five scuttle? members here cleared. Can throw oh, out the ultimate, man. lands it right into the back line as Nuclear gets a huge shield. Faker is exhausted, takes a whole lot of damage. Oh, and Luden. finally is taken down. Yeah, the Luden's proc going to be enough to do it there from Showmaker. Now Khan finds himself one versus four, but Phase Rush going to get him out of there as well. Canyon actually turning this situation around as Teddy wants to get some autos, but he can't stand still without being threatened to die. And now Effort just runs himself into the turret. And because it's not going to be taken before 30, it does mean that the next dragon that will spawn is going to be Elder. Oh, man. No. Well, Khan's going to move on in as there's the hijacked ultimate onto Canyon, but he's taking so much damage and just tanking through it. Absolutely fine with the aftershock there as the Silas is just obliterated. They control over the Barret. Are they trying to cheese it? They are. Oh my god, Barret's oh. going to be right here. Oh, Faker. Faker. Yeah, he's going to get hit by the Q and just deleted. Oh, Nuclear well. is going to lock down that kill now as Khan is going to get permafrosted. Canyon in the front line, but aftershock is going to wear off. Last fight, there were no opportunities for him to stand oh. and deliver. That's a huge ult, though, into the wall. Canyon has to get the hell out of there. Aftershock comes in. Beryl keeps himself alive with the stopwatch. Another great ult oh. comes in, and finally, Sejuani is going to be taken down. SKT, they what? found the pick that they were looking for. Now SKT can turn towards the Baron if they would like. You mentioned how much damage they have. They definitely know that, too. Khan is very low on HP, though. Still looking to try and turn effort with the thick skin. Only a couple of seconds on that one now after 916, but uses it in order to get himself to relative safety. SKT can't be too they overconfident here because the karma is still alive. The war of attrition. Effort. They're going down in. very low. Faker doesn't have the ult, but does still have flanking position, but it doesn't seem to matter. Darmon just have too much damage. The Zaya, with all the items, is doing so much work. And now frontlining, he's taken down. What a mistake there from Nuclear. And the Varus is now starting to pop up. Flash forward. Noggery is going to land as well. And now Showmaker underneath his turret. The quadrakill is there, but Teddy. Oh, the same way in the team fights. The Karma comes online oh, with the Teddy death get altered, but... but there's the Devour coming in for effort. Fitzkin oh, not man. even able to be used. Is now Teddy trying to cut this one out. He flashes so much damage here from the Varus. And the Supreme Play of Talent is also Nuclear. there. Nuclear getting chunked out, but he's still alive. That's the important part. He's burning down. And the Silas grabs the kill with the red buff. SKT, they've picked up the Zaya. The... They, they can burst it. They can yeah. burst it right now. Effort. Yeah. Tom Kent oh will hold them all God. off. So much damage here. Yeah. It just evaporates. Goodbye, Baron. <laughs> SKT grabbed their next one. Is now Faker. Might be in trouble. He's dead, yeah. He's going to be taken down, but that is only one pick in trade for a Baron. You'll take that any day of the week. And it's a corruption. And Land the onto game. the Zyre in the front line. And now Khan, yeah, exactly right. That's what he's going to try and do. The prison is going to go wide, though, and SKT, they use this their time to pounce. Clid goes golden. The Zonyas is there. Chain Latch, not going to be Nuclear enough. Lamp. The Zai is going to grab it. Nogri flashes oh, in, flashes Teddy. out. Teddy doing the damage, though, and now Showmaker in trouble. Tongue Lash comes in, and Dalmon looking to try and turn it. Teddy versus Nuclear is the battle. A double life skill. He's going to do it in the meantime, Khan. He's going to do it again, winning the game by himself in the Dalmon base. And there it is.
The Nexus going to die as Tom gracing us with his presence. I, right I really end. wished he had have made it there on his abyssal voyage. But... <laughs> uh, going to Europe is SKT. That was what the sign. Eel. The World Championship birth is just around the corner from this game. Is oh, that's going to be a face check. Showmaker, that's going to be first blood so quickly. Two extra assists there as well, and the game got so hard. Aw, thanks. I feel I, legitimized. I think you're smart. Oh, well, Canyon. Oh, not like this. Yeah, man. another Bone Skewer is going to land, but the rest of the members of Dalmont are going to move on in here. Barrel's going to go down, though. What are they doing, though, man? This is such a big deal. Someone look to have mentally exited low park. Still with refillable, so. And he's also taken the klepto. As Khan. Is this, is, is this real? This could just be the, yeah. He's just dead. Crashes the wave right now. Oh, they're also going to know that he's in Kronk. Ooh, will Cliff go for the steal? He has smite. Um, oh, I don't actually think that he moved over to I think he doesn't to want to Kronk. give away. Oh, oh my goodness. No. It's a bit of a disaster here, but SKT are going to fully commit. The cocoon is going to land. And Khan was tanking the turret. Slices, dices, gets out. But Clid shadowing pretty nicely, heading towards Bertha. Well, lost chapter already completed for Faker in the mid lane as Clid is running down there with Moby Boots. Yep, Bone Skew are going to come in, but the Devour immediately comes out. Clid says, all right, well, now you're not going to be able to save nuclear. Flashing forward, they are going to get the Tom Kench stunned up, but Beryl oh. is pretty healthy. Max range on the abscond is... Now Canyon in trouble, another Bone Skewer. Kingslayer ain't going to do it for you, mate. That's not enough. Who? And now Beryl completely out of mana. Effort trying to turn it around, and the deep water dive is there. The flash forward. Teddy grabs another one, and he's going to be handed Beryl on a silver platter. Catfish for dinner. Thank you very much. The Spider Lady's going to grab it. But Pewter's on. Moving into this after that level one, after Nogari just throwing himself at Khan. Another opportunity nice. now for Khan is the uh, there's not enough oranges in the world to yeah, save he, he this game. He doesn't care anymore. That's that's actually what we're witnessing. The, no. Probably uh, the very top of the world's gauntlet run. In fact, they will. But um, oh, now Clid doesn't have. Okay, he's just going to hop on over, make a visit over to Showmaker as Pop Blossom comes in, lands onto three, Killer Instinct right into the back line as Khan's turned up as well. Canyon hijacked one, but he couldn't get in there. Effort diving on forward, gets himself the stun, and we're delivering gold to everyone on SKT's side. And after that will be the World's Gauntlet before the promotion tournament as SKT are closing in on Nogari. This turret is extremely low. He's trying to keep the minion wave away, but it should be a dead pirate. No cocoons necessary. The turret's going to go down next. Minute, 49 second game. I'm not, won, quite, I'm not, Did, I'm not quite Papa Smithy, okay? I can't yeah. pull these facts out. Yeah, no, no. I'm pretty good at that. As, uh, Canyon is pretty good at finding a crocodile, and Khan pretty good at not caring about that at all. He's looking for a Q to come back. Oh, Slice dice, he does die. In the mid lane, however, Faker is going to be able to lock down the kill onto the Corky. The Elise helping him out there as Clid does have to flash. Does Dom want to found themselves at least a few of their sea legs? It's not their pirate, ironically, but he's now looking to try and pressure this SKT away and may actually just die. He did find the flash, but he's also going to find himself dying. Oh, Bob oh, isn't going to be enough. Effort grabs it. They're digging their own grave. Well, SKT are going to help them. Down to about half health here as top laners are teleporting in. We'll see who's going to actually be able to make this one work, though. Dominus immediately popped as Khan dives into the back line. Good Devour comes in. I believe that denied the death from below, but Nuclear should still be dying here. He flashes, keeps himself alive for the moment as finally Faker locks down the first kill. It's one for one, though, as the Elise is going to fall off the back end. Double kill as Faker completes that. And now Khan, he's able to just wander around. Looks like Catfish has been on the menu. With side selection. And then the winner of that will play Sandbox, and the winner of that will play Dom One as the 1v1 on the bottom side, Faker. Ooh. Not actually finding it too well, but the Pop Blossom's going to turn it all around. He found all of his buttons, and the Pirate is... It would be a Gangplank ult coming in and stealing the Baron. We're going to need a 7,000 range smite, I think, in order for Dom One to contest this in any way, as our Showmaker's going to make his well, way over. I mean, is actually there. Yep, and yeah. it was relatively slow. A Showmaker is at least going to get hit Ooh. momentarily. Faker, Ooh, that's a shape splitter. As now Clid is in trouble. The flash forward from Showmaker, but the Glacial Orb. Oh! Oh, not enough. Piercing Arrow is going to be there as Khan's found four people off the back line. Wait, 
He's gonna have to dice to get himself over the wall. He does so, effort dashing to try and get out of the way. Canyon looks for the death run below. This could be a triple kill, but it's not. He gets snared, and he gets blooming bursted. Now we're looking for empowered recalls, SKT. All right, killer instinct by Canyon. Yeah, King Slayer's <laughs> there, but he's just dead. That was, he got through the shield, so shout outs for that. But a Teddy is very oh, strong. Man. We've got a flanking teleport coming in from both the All top right. laner and the mid laner. Shape splitters in. There's the pop blossom. Doesn't actually land on anyone though. Super Soaker goes out, finds the snare and a noggery on the back line, but oh. it's just not enough. Death oh. from below's there. Boom, boom, boom. Even the minion wave's going to suffer here as effort just rains down the terror. And SKT are going to continue moving forward. Okay, Khan was on the bottom side. And now just. Trying to play aggressively here, moving out of the way of the barrels as there's the package. It's delivered over to the Crocodile, who is going to go gold in SKT. Can they actually find their way in? There's the Killer Instinct, and we're looking for Showmaker. We'll find him as well as Teddy. One versus three in the back line. Sacrifices himself, but I think he did enough damage there as Noggery, the last man standing. And Faker with a Pop Blossom is going to say goodnight to Dom1. They wanted to go home and get an early one in preparation for next week's final, because SKT is going to be there. LCK final, SKT versus Griffin, Darmwon barely showing up in game number three. But SKT, that is so many games in a row, seven in a row. Through these playoffs, the gauntlet buff has made this team into a monster.